Ray Harmon here and welcome to the Hack Music Theory Revolution, where we empower you with notation-free theory for making great music. Just before we jump into the lesson, yeah? Do you want another tea? Um, oh yes please, this one's almost done. Okay, I'm on it. Thank you. Yeah. This is gonna sound really strange, but where's all the tea? What do you mean? It's in the cupboard above the kettle where it always is. I know, but it's empty. Uh, that's impossible. We literally did our annual tea shopping trip yesterday. We only drink one box a day, so that leaves 364 boxes in the cupboard. I know, but the cupboard is empty. What? It's empty. Okay. Ah! Who on earth is calling at this time? Who is it? It's an unknown number. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer. Hello? Check your mailbox. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself, fool! <laughs> check your mailbox. Uh, seriously? You want me to check the mail? Mate, it's like... It's like quarter to midnight. Check your mailbox. Uh, why? What's in it for me? Get <laughs> it what's in it as in in the mailbox. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. Have you heard of the Boston Tea Party? Um... Yes, uh, uh, wasn't that when, um, the protesters, uh, uh, uh they, um, wait, uh, the protesters threw the shipment of tea in the ocean to, and uh, kicked off a revolution. Yes, but this time I have your tea and I'm going to throw it into the ocean to stop a revolution. Your revolution. So I say again, check your mailbox now, before it's too late. Ray, we he's need got, to call the police. He's stolen our they, tea. Ray, he's, we he's need to call the police. Tea. Ray! Ray, seriously, don't go out there. It could be a trap. There's no time. He's got our tea. Ray! Out okay, I'm coming with you. I'm going to fill in everything for evidence. Wait! <sighs> Wait for me! Ugh. Drop the key. Help me find it. Help me find it. Oh, fuck. That's here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's a tea bag. It's my yerba mate. Oh. Okay. Here's the letter. I know your revolution is powered by tea, so if you want to save your tea and therefore your revolution, follow this map to the castle on the hill. Okay, I'm gonna get the car keys, I'll meet you at the car. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where? Look, wait, wait, look, wait, wait, up wait, on the right, wait, up wait, on the right. Oh, park, yeah, park, yeah, park, park, it, park, 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 park. That's it, that's it. Okay, okay, okay. That's, it, that's it, that's it. All right, stay in the car, I'm gonna check it out. Do not get out the car. Uh, I don't know about this. This is a terrible idea. This is a really, really bad idea. I don't know. Screw this. It's always the person in the car that gets it. What are you doing? I'm having a pee. I forgot to go before we left home. What are you doing? I told you to wait in the car. I know, but my seat heater got cold. What? Okay, whatever. Come on, it's this way. Must be on the other side of this wall. 
Uh, okay, uh, I spent years learning what you teach in minutes on YouTube. I spent tens of thousands of dollars on what you give away for free on YouTube. This must stop. Composing music must be reserved for those of us with music degrees who write on staff notation and play real instruments, not computers. If everyone with a computer understood music theory, then everyone with a computer could make music. Imagine a world where everyone with a computer could make music. Almost everyone has a computer. This is the stuff of nightmares. What? Mate, this is the stuff of dreams. That's amazing. Anyway, okay. um, if you're so smart with your notation-free theory and your music-making computer, then you should have no problem completing this challenge in under five minutes. You must compose an ostinato. What's How an ostinato? Uh, it's just a fancy word for riff. Uh, however, you cannot use any scales or any modes. And oh when you're finished, you must add vocals over it. If you succeed in this challenge, your tea will be uh, returned to you unharmed and your hack music theory revolution can continue. However, if you fail, I have only four words for you. Jack the Teabag Ripper. <laughs> Wait, that's five words. Uh, yeah, he's a hyphenated teabag. Weirdo. <laughs> Who hyphenates teabag? Seriously. Fine. Okay. I'm going in. I'm going in. Me? What? How are you going to write a riff without using a scale or mode? Easy. Don't worry. I've got a killer hack for this. It's gonna be super dissonant. Perfect for non-melodic vocals, like rapping or shouting. Oh, you know what? I'll give Garbage Face a call. He'll throw down some vocals over this. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. I'm gonna go back outside and keep a lookout. Okay. Game on! <sighs> I think everything's on. Oh, I really hope this generator holds up. Okay, better hurry. So whenever you want to make a riff that is totally outside of the box, what I mean by that is it's not in any scale or mode. There's this awesome hack you can use called note rows. In simple terms, a note row is a row of all 12 notes that you put in the order you want, and then you can use that note row to make all the melodies and harmonies in your song. This method was invented back in the 1920s by the genius composer Arnold Schoenberg. It's known as serialism, and you can use it to write serial killer riffs. The first thing you need to do is decide on what your lowest note is going to be. My lowest note for this riff is going to be D because I'm going to play it on my guitar in drop D tuning. What that means is that my lowest open string, which is usually E, I've detuned down to a D so it's extra low. So once you've got your lowest note, then just draw in all 12 notes starting from there. All right, next we arrange these notes into order and that will be our note row. You can do this however you want depending on what genre you're working in, but because we want to make a heavy riff here, we're going to make sure that every interval is dissonant. And just so you know, the dissonant intervals are intervals of one semitone, three semitones, six semitones, eight semitones, and 11 semitones. All right, let's knock these 12 notes into shape now. And I'm thinking the overall contour for our note row can be starting at the top and descending down into darkness. So let's grab that C sharp at the top and drag that over. So as we choose notes, we're going to drag them from the right, from all the 12 notes over to the left, which is going to be our note row. And then let's descend down one semitone to C. So grab that C, pull it over. Okay, and then we're going to descend down further. Six semitones. One, two, three, four, five, six. To the F sharp. Grab the F sharp. Drag it over. Okay, then we're going to go three semitones up. One, two, three to the A. Grab that A, pull it over. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, and then one semitone up to the A sharp. And even in emergencies, you always want to be thinking about motifs. So let's do this dropping by six semitones and then rising by three and rising by one before it drops again by six semitones. One, two, three, four, five, six to the E. Okay, grab the E. Pull the E over. So we're repeating this motif up three semitones to the G. 
Then once then we turn to the G sharp, so you're gonna hear that. You're gonna hear that dissonant motif. And then again, there. Okay, we're almost done. Let's go uh, three semitones up to the B. Grab that B, drag it across. And then let's go six semitones down. One, two, three, four, five, six. F, grab that F. Three semitones down to our lowest note. And then one semitone up to the D sharp. And that's all 12 notes. We are done. That's our note row. Alright, if we'd be doing this as a straight note row riff, that would be it. You can't repeat any of the notes until you've played through all 12. Those are the rules. But I'm going to break the rules because I want this riff going over two bars. So I'm going to drag this bit out into the second bar. And then I'm going to come from that G sharp. I'm going to come down six semitones to my low open string. And I'm going to gent on that low D. And then I'm going to pick things up from where we left off with that G sharp. And then we're going to finish the note row. And then I'm going to go down for more genting on that low D. And then at the very end, you know, I'm gonna play that D an octave higher. And then to finish things off, I'm gonna get even crazy. I'm gonna go 30 seconds and I'm gonna slice these up. We want 30 seconds on that low D. 30 seconds on that low D. It's gonna be quick. And one in the second bar. And we are done. Yo, garbage face, I've got an emergency, man. I desperately need you to throw down a verse on this riff. Can I Skype you in? Yeah, sure, man. Yes, dude, I knew I could count on you. Okay, here it comes. Are you ready? here and welcome to the Hack Music Theory Revolution, where we empower you with notation-free theory for making great music. Just before we jump into the lesson to... Oh, seriously. Hello? Check your mailbox. Oh, not again! <laughs> 